Hey folks, welcome back to Skyrim Roleplay with Malren. Okay, I just want to make a note, um, past few episodes, this season, since the beginning of this season, which was, what, episode 71 onwards up until now, um, my audio was a little weird, I've been noticing, um, I've been doing it a little different this season, uh, compared to last season, so, I lowered the special effects a little bit, and on my... There was an audio setting outside the game here where, um, it's yeah, a little loud right now. What do you need? Let me go outside. <laughs> um, there was a, it was an audio setting on my thing that, that like automatically like tried to, um, muffle background noises or something. And so what I think what was happening was, and I sort of just, well, I, I heard it on a couple of things that wasn't, sh you know, too worried about it, but I was, oh, and I'm so drunk, <laughs> um, so yeah, it was making some weird, I was having like a lot of weird audio, like where, sometimes like when I did that, like I hit somebody with the, the sword, and it would trap their soul, and make that weird noise, and then I was talking at the same time, it would like muffle my voice and the sound effect at the same time, like I was trying to, like I couldn't handle it right or something, so hopefully this Reducing the effects a little lower will will hopefully maybe limit that a little bit because I don't really notice too many problems. But sometimes it sounds a little echoey too because when the ambient noise in the background's going on, like I can hear a little bit of the water coming down right now, and I keep tripping drunk. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that you know sometimes that would make my voice sound a little odd if it comes through on this this section of uh, the next several episodes, I'm going to shoot a bunch here now, um, then I will once again try and auto, you know, do some work on it after this group of episodes, so just so you know, I'm aware of the issue, um, I'm working on it, and hoping to get that fixed, so, um, <laughs> just so you know, alright, so I'm back into, I want to immerse my Back into an immersion here and get back into role playing the character. Malrin has, I will, you know, not, Malrin has come home. He's basically sold most of the stuff that I had laying around. Um, a couple items maybe I'd like to get rid of. I sort of want to keep this one. I've had this since the beginning of the game. Uh, they, they literally ran out of money in town to be able to buy my stuff. And. That's even with that mod that increased the merchant gold. So as you can imagine, that whole stretch over the past, what was it, 70 episodes where we were in Blackreach and getting the Elder Scroll was, yeah, it was quite, um, quite a bit of loot there. And I think I am pretty much filled up, well, I gotta get water. Before we go on the road, plus my guy is falling over piss drunk <laughs> every couple seconds here, even just standing. Um, what do you start? need, my friend? Nothing, that's okay. I'm going to fill the water up up here. So, um, first things first. Do we go back to turn in on... This was Septimus, which is a long walk back, but I am not, you know, I'm going to... My sort of my rule for fast traveling is if I've been that direction once, um, I'll sometimes fast travel. And I don't fast travel to a specific location outside of a town or a city. It has to be a town or a city that I fast travel to. And usually I have to have been there once, at least. And I prefer trying to do it with um, the wagons. But I know some of the smaller townships actually don't even have the wagons outside of them. So, yeah. So sometimes I just fast travel in the interest of not being so ultra boring. So I'm tripping in the water now. I think I had like one mead. So yeah, it's considered a strong alcoholic beverage. And I don't remember if I told you this, but halfway through Blackreach, I had stopped and um, recorded half of that one day and half of all that stuff the another day. And I added the Realistic Needs and Diseases mod, which I think there's a configuration menu for... So this is now the third mod in this series. I actually like this one. It's really not that much different than the first one we had in, but 
um, I know I just like this one better and I really wanted this in there I did adjust some of these rates here and I got this really bad lag my frame rate is literally like oh now it went back up I don't know what that's about but I'm getting some lag and then it goes back up and all right whatever um, so I just have a couple cock keys here and I think I adjusted the hunger and thirst fatigue rate a little bit from the defaults I didn't do too much with um, the alcohol. I, I lowered the the weak beverages really. No, I didn't. Not just this, but when I'm tipsy, I think I lowered this. Because if I'm just slightly tipsy, I don't want my, the random tripping to be too heavy. When I'm very drunk, yeah, go ahead. Which you can see here. Yeah, I'm tripping a lot. So I only had one drink. Um, I did adjust this, and I think I did do this. Now I'm remembering I did do some of this on air. So so sorry. Or wasting your time. All right. So this episode, not so much immersion, but um, sorry. <laughs> We're gonna fill the water up here. Um, I'm gonna go back to the home real quickly. All right. Filled those. I thought I had a water skin, and apparently I don't. I thought I had a water skin with this guy. I'm thinking of the other character because I was play testing this. Uh, yeah, so I was playing testing the mod a little bit with the other character. I think he found a bunch of water skins. Um, and I think I can I can make my own. But, you know, we have enough bottles, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. So let's just go back to the home here, boil up the water. And so either Septimus, turn it on the Elder Scroll thing, or I sort of want to get this Nurn Root thing out of the way. Because it's there's nothing else to the quest line, uh, so where's the turn in on that? I know that was like way south, if I remember right. And it's not even bringing it up in the map. I, I sort of I, th I thought it was near. I'm I'm hitting M there, and it's not doing nothing. So sometimes it does that. I don't know what the deal is. I have been there. Um. I could say I took a uh, wagon to Iverstead and just I can go cross country to her place. So I think that's what we'll do this time around. Um, after we boil the water. Cause trouble in Whiterun, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. So we will boil the water, because the river water will give you the disease if you don't boil it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Use my water. Cooking pot here. Let's see. Yeah, boiled water. So I just, I just want to, you know. Please. I think that's all you have to cook here. Um, just want to make sure. Okay. Good. And one other thing I want to sh I'll show you maybe some other time, but I got a mod for here that adds a basement and you get a whole bunch of neat stuff. So, all right. So how are we at here? Weight wise, I'm still got a f I'm still carrying a few things. I think a lot of the carrying stuff right now is I got these. I don't. Was that something that that Septimus gave me? I don't know. Four pounds from this thing I could drop off at the Bard's College next time I go to Solitude. We got tons of gems from, uh, look at that, 20. And at that point one each, it ends up being two pounds. So we got tons of gems. I got tons of these things, uh, <laughs> soul gems. Um, and that adds up, too. And they literally could not buy them all from in town here. So that kind of blows. I just want to make sure before we go out here, we are all... Uh, we'll maybe use up a couple of these here. And they're really not too bad, so I guess I'll leave them. And another thing, this this thing has 12 pounds, and I thought I did this quest, but maybe I didn't. I think maybe probably again I'm thinking of the other character I was playing. Um, all right, so let's get out of here. And that's why it's the the vision right now is a little hazy. Cause I think he's still drunk. And let me just check just to make sure. Um, dizzy. Damage resist plus ten unharmed stumbling and random tripping. 
All right, let me just check here. And satiated, not thirsty, not tired, but dizzy, of course, because of the drinking. Very well. All right. Onward. Oh, put my hat on. Let's go. Okay, so, yeah, I do, do Iverstead. I know you don't normally go there, but we'll work out a deal like we did last time, right? Yeah, okay. Take you to any of the hold capitals. No, we're going to Iverstead. All right. Thank you. All right. That was a very uncomfortable journey. And the horse keeps following me around. Okay, so we're gonna head over to her house. Car Joe. Let me get out of here. One thing I would like to do, Car Joe, is probably more use the ebony sword since it's got that soul uh, soul drain ability. Fill up some of these gems so I don't actually have to carry it as many around. I can't remember if I can get to her house on the road. Let me just check my map here. I can't see a road there, so I think we're going to have to go cross country here. to take up some hunting and stuff again. Just haven't had a chance to do that. I'm hearing that the prices actually have gotten quite a bit better for furs. Now we have all this uh, activity in Skyrim, the bandit raids, and lots more travelers and stuff on the road. The war is picking up. It's drawing a lot of people to Skyrim. I could do some uh, some hunting. I, got, I personally have plenty of food, but mainly for the pelts. That's what I'm thinking. Although Carjo and I are pretty, we're pretty well off, so it's not really necessary for us to do that unless we run into a situation where we're just literally running out of food or something. I am a little hungry, so we'll stop here once we get to this this place. Uh, I know it's sort of off the beaten trail here, but the memory she grew, Nernru. And she might be the one to talk to about this Crimson Nern room. So I think that's what we're going to do. Thankfully, I have not seen any, um, any attacks here. So something's going on up here. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly and we won't have to get rough. More of this. Brother, I think she's telling the truth. I'm not going anywhere. Now back off before I do something drastic. She doesn't have the scar. What? Oh, you're right. We've made a mistake. Now move along before that mouth of yours gets you into trouble. Next time you're looking to pester someone, make sure it's the right person. Yes? Hmm. Foreigners. What a nuisance. Yeah, but... Alright. I know what the, I know who they're looking for. I'm just not going to pursue that right now. In fact, she asked me specifically not to tell them and to deal with them. In fact, which I may do at some point. It seems like that's in becoming an increasing, increasing problem. I've already seen several of these red guards on the road trying to find out where she is. Salia in uh, in White Run. All right. Well, I'm sure, we're not too far. I think so this is the road. Why do you join the Stormcloaks? I'm a true Nord. Simple as that. Hmm. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. 
I will. Don't worry about it. Right now, I'm not getting involved in this war, though. Nothing personal. I think this is the farm. Yeah, this is it. I really just want to get these um, unloaded. I went through the effort to pick 30 of them, so... Seems like somebody somewhere would probably want them. Fortunately, they might be... Hello? Hello? No? Ah, I think they're sleeping, Carjo. It's the middle of the night. late. suppose we could lay out some tents here and just sleep a few hours or something. I don't know. They probably would not appreciate us uh, setting up a camp in, in the yard, but um, I, I don't know. No, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> reposition. We really just need to sleep. And I'm not even going to get any of this other stuff out. So let's just go to bed for a while. Yeah. Sounds good to me. It's just, uh, yeah, seven hours. Probably good. Keep watch. He's got guards now. I don't remember ever having guards. Pack up and, uh, alright, so where is she? She get a guard. I know your kind. Always sneaking about. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's her daughter. She was kind of weird. Remember her? I don't think you were with me, Car Joe. I'm a bit. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. Hey, um, I found, uh, Sundarian's remains. I knew this day would eventually come. At least poor Sundarian died doing what he loved. His field research. I told the old fool we should take it easy, but he was too stubborn. Perhaps someday I'll continue where he left off. It's the least I can do considering how much he did for me. Yeah. Um, I brought all this crimson nirn root I found down in the Black Reach, so it might be of use to you, maybe. You gathered quite a few of them, I see. I'll search through Cinderian's notes and find some more information about the crimson nirn root and its properties. Alright, well here you are. Thank you. You've done alchemy a great service by helping to complete Cinderian's work. I'd like to give you this tome. It's one of Cinderian's greatest works. I believe you've more than earned it. Hmm. The Nern Root Missive Cinderian's Serendipity. Okay, so. Thank you. Back to work. Yes. Um, I don't know how you put up with this noise all day, but. Okay, Carjo. Um, I think we really need to get to Septimus. That means probably another carriage ride up to um, Winterhold. Now I remember. You're that new member of the Companions. 
So, you what? Fetch the mead? Well, actually, I run them now, but... Yeah, who's, who's counting, right? Well, what options do we have here now? I could physically walk to Riften and catch a carriage up there. It's sort of out of the way, a long trip, but... I have walked this road before, like I said earlier this episode, so I think I might do, in the interest of progressing the story along a little bit, I think we will just fast travel to Winterhold directly. Need something? No, you were here I'm last time. You, I heard it, howling. Those werewolf tales are true. The Imperators think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Okay, um, werewolves? Uh, for a very short period of time, I actually was one. Believe it or not. Carjo can probably attest. He's he was there trying to help me out. When that happened, um... No, no. Another one of them. Someone do something! Don't set anything on fire, I'll... No, I'm not gonna say anything on fire, but you got a dragon coming in. Oh, come on. Somebody help! Is he leaving? Yeah, he just went off into the distance. These guys seem to think he's still coming, but... Who are you? I never... You were another one in town that... No, you're just yes. a passing traveler. Wow, these roads are just really busy. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay. Mm hmm? Hmm? All right, all right. Let's get going, Car Joe. Another trek out onto the ice to find our friend Septimus. This should be interesting. Although we are really tired, and I probably haven't even checked my my needs here. What have I? I'm hungry, thirsty, and... Oh, it doesn't say I'm tired, though, so I guess I could survive it. Hello? Can I... Yes. Thank you. Um, so let's just stop and eat air outside town. It's very cold, though. Um, beggars stew. I don't even remember I had that. It says it tastes disgusting, though. So I don't really... I got plenty of other food, so you're going away. Um, spoiled mug crab I've had around for a long time. Um, two of them. One boiled water, and two. I think I could still have more. So, how am I on food here? One apple. Still a little hungry. And that grilled chicken breast has been around a long time. So I better use that up. All right. I don't see any uh, saber cats out here this time. Could be wrong. 